can you tell me about your knowledge on this? Does does this black mold issue, does this go beyond um, when it really started hitting the media back early August? Early August this year? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, it does. Well, how long have you been principal here? I've been principal here six years, six months. And in the six years, six months, how long have you been hearing about things like this? It's been about five years that I've been hearing about it. And in five years, has anything been done about it? Any kind of studies or anything to sort of back up the, the suspicions and discussions? Well, this year there has been uh, an ERG report done and air samples have been taken and there has been a report made available to uh, the community teachers and, and the staff. And you've seen that report? I have. And was there anything in that report that, that particularly alarmed you? Well, not being an expert on it, just taking the word of, of the people that shared it with me, there were a few rooms that I think the count was pretty high. Yeah, you know, and the school system did move this year to, to empty those rooms out and take steps in order to try and clean the issue. Um, but it seems like that's not enough to really satisfy a lot of very concerned parents and, and I would imagine some teachers. Yes, they, they have taken uh, steps. As a matter of fact, our fifth graders have been moved out to uh, trailers. There has been some cleanup. Surpro has been in. And they still have some things on, uh, on the agenda to do. Yeah. You know, um, what, what is this about air samples? Is there concern that this issue, um, do you have any concern that this, this issue regarding black mold extends further than those five classrooms? I'm not really sure because I don't know that much about black mold, but I do have parents and teachers that are concerned that it has extended further than those classrooms. Have there been, in your estimation, has it been brought to your attention that there's been any long-term or any kind of serious health impacts from the black mold in these classrooms? Um, can't say for sure, but I have had uh, parents request their students' attendance and medical records, and I've had some concerns uh, about several teachers that have been ill, but I just can't say for sure that that's connected to the issue that's going on now. And one of the things that we're looking at on this is, is we're asking if enough has been done in the past. In your estimation, in the years that you've been here since you first started hearing about this, do you feel like enough has been done to, to raise awareness and to remedy the situation regarding black mold in your school? Well, given this being my sixth year, I really don't know what has been done in the past, so I don't think I'm qualified to really answer that question. Are you concerned for the health and safety of the students and teachers that you have here? Well, being the principal and the instructional leader, I am concerned. I'm concerned about the academics. I'm concerned about them being safe while they're, while they're here. And I just feel everyone deserves the right to be in a safe and healthy environment. And it does concern me. If there are issues going on, then of course my passion for the teachers and for the school I, it would bring some concern. You know, you're, you're getting ready to retire as this issue is really starting to, to I guess, explode in the media. What are your long-term concerns as you step away from the school? Is that whatever issues are out there concerning this school, that they will be fixed. Do you, are you confident that they will be? I'm hoping that they will be. Do you think twice before going to a classroom? I have downstairs. I've, I've, I've thought twice about that. And do you go in anyway? Or? I have not. I've not been. I've been one time when it they first started the cleanup this year. This I, I guess a couple of few months ago, but I haven't been back since then. As have you lost any teachers or students over this issue? I'm not. I don't understand that question. Have any teachers refused to work in the environment, or have any parents specifically requested that their child be transferred out of specific rooms? Well, no, no teachers have refused. There, there was just some concern that whatever issues are going down in fifth grade from the parents, that it be fixed, that they take care of it.